welcome to a day in my life with a newborn <laughs> guys before we get into this video please i want to apologize for the orientation of this video i recorded this as portrait with the intention to post this as instagram reels or youtube short but the video ended up being longer than i expected and i thought why not just post it as a youtube video so this is it first guys kindly subscribe to my channel if you are yet to like this video so youtube can recommend it to more people i like more people to watch this video i like to get more views on this video so please do me that favor by hitting the like button god bless you so much and without further ado let's begin the day so I'm starting my day around to 7 with my devotion. There's this new devotional method that my friend introduced to me. And guys, I'm so enjoying it. Uh, if you would like me to share this with you, please send me an EDM on Instagram and I'll share that with you. So guys, so I usually don't sleep through the night because I have to wake up at intervals to feed my baby. And most times when I wake up, I'm unable to sleep again. So I stay awake almost all through the night. So since i'm still on maternity leave i usually take the mornings to sleep so while i go to bed my husband is able to take care of the baby and so here i'm preparing breakfast so we can have breakfast and then i can sleep for like three four hours before continuing with the rest of my day so this morning i made some i made a very quick breakfast that is mushrooms with omelette and asparagus just something very easy and healthy for us so I have quite a number of things lined up for today and sometimes it seems like the hours are just never enough but I'm hoping today that I'm able to get through a lot of my lined up activities. So I know by the time I resume back to work, our activities and routines will definitely change but for now our routine is still working for us so breakfast is ready. So I'll quickly have breakfast, then I can start with my activities for the day. First, I'm starting with setting up for my baby's photo shoot. So I plan to take his two months uh, photo shoot. So I've been doing his monthly photo shoots, okay, from like two months. The first month, I hired a professional photographer, but I don't have $400 with paying every month. So I'm taking the bull by the horn and, you know, <laughs> pushing myself. I'm going to be doing this photo shoot myself and I actually did it and I liked how it turned out. So guys, this is me setting up. I'm just using this tree that we have as my background and all of these decors actually are things that we have at home. The only thing I got were, were the balloons. I got them from Walmart. This uh, number actually, this number, uh, whatever, <laughs> I had it for my 30th birthday and I'm glad that I still have it at home. So by the time I finished, my baby had slept and I didn't want to disturb him. So I just went back to bed and I woke up later to just dress him up, take care of him and also give him his bath. So guys, I don't bathe my baby every day and I'd really recommend that you don't do the same as well. Like I learned the hard way. You know as Africans how they tell us not to bathe our babies every day, just bathe like three to four times a week. But we feel like, no, ah, that's a very dirty habit and we don't do that um, I learned the hard way, so I'm telling you, moms, hmm, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Like it washes off the good flora of your baby's body, and it actually dries your baby's skin. That's what I experienced. My baby had lots of dryness, and so I reverted to uh, doing like three times, uh, three to four times a week. So I alternate. For his bath so here um after getting up i also freshened up and now i am trying to prepare for our uh, lunch lunch versus dinner so basically eat like twice a day so breakfast and dinner lunch i don't know what to call it but we eat like in the evenings and that is it for each day so today i'm making a four with um carrot oatmeal and i like to use collard green i've shared this recipe on my channel on how i use collard greens to make a four so if you have missed it i'll leave a link to that video in this 
uh, description box in the description box of this video so you can check it out i also like to wash off my vegetables with uh, distilled vinegar i soak that for about 10 minutes so the vinegar can act on the vegetables to wash off the, uh, the pesticides thereafter i pour into hot boiling water to blanch the vegetables and i go ahead with the rest of the process so while i was having all of my activities i was also pumping and um, this is what i had from one side and i usually store in the refrigerator i have a stash that i keep also in the uh, freezer so i usually pump some milk in the freezer or the refrigerator so that my husband can have some milk to feed my baby whenever i need to sleep or go out or just do some other things and might not be able to hand, uh, take care of the baby at the moment so my baby had woken up and i still wanted to take advantage of the daylight so i had to pause my cooking to come to the photo shoot and guys photographers are earning their mornings especially baby photographers like it's so hard getting them to do what you want them to do i can't even remember how many poses i did of this photo shoot like how many pictures i took in total and the funny thing was i had to repeat this photo shoot the following day because i didn't like the outcome so i did it again the following day mm. i feel so rude. anyway so i went back to my cooking and while that was done i remembered that i needed something which my husband quickly dashed the store to get for me and while he was away i was i read to my baby this is something that i've been doing to him since he was like three years old we've been reading and he has this set of bible uh, book and prayers that we do every day and i'm also adding to the list now we have books on on animals on fruits and i'm hoping to get more please if you have recommendations do share with hi and my baby we would love to learn and i'm happy that he's beginning to enjoy his reading time as you can see he's very calm this time just listening to whatever i was saying i know he doesn't understand but you know because he doesn't have that level of consciousness yet but you know the more speech babies are exposed to early on the better their speech development it really aids their speech development and it is also stimulating for them so i like to do this with him every day something else we also do i like um taking walks in the evening tummy time feeling and grabbing different objects tracking high items, you know and different other things like that while waiting for my husband to come back i also decided to make a uh, plantain chips just to have as uh, snacks for the house so i'm going to put this in my air fryer and our air four is ready air four is ready dinner is served so i made this with carrot oatmeal this carrot oatmeal is deliciously healthy if you have missed this recipe on my channel again i'm going to leave a link in the description box go and watch it and add this to your list of food i tell you that carrot oatmeal is the bomb so it's time for our evening walk you know after eating the food we need to go and shed some you know very few calories it was already late in the night and i couldn't do some other things i wanted to do but i'm glad that i could get some of these things done and most importantly also get to uh, take this walk with him so till next time guys thank you for watching